Hi guys, today we're gonna try out this ballet core makeup trend by Cindy Kimberly. So just starting off with a fresh and moisturized face, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter and just putting that on the higher points of the face to bring in some glow and I'm blending that in with my e.l.f. Putty Brush. This look definitely has a lot of glow, so this is gonna give us that glow from within. Next, I'm going in with my Kevin Aquan Concealer in the shade SX08, and I'm using this to conceal and color correct any imperfections and hyperpigmentation. This is not a heavy foundation look, so I'm using products in a very strategic way to conceal as much as I can with the least amount of product possible. So I'm just taking that around the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and anywhere where I need to just even up my skin tone a bit. And then I always smooth out my creams and liquids with a sponge. Next I'm going in with my e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade Bronze Bell. And I'm using my e.l.f. Contour Brush just to start contouring and bronzing the areas that I want a bit of definition and dimension and depth and it's totally okay if you go a little bit heavy-handed to start because we're doing an underpainting method uh, which means that we're just putting the contour and highlight underneath the foundation this way we don't have to use as much foundation to go over the top and we're just going to blend everything out really nicely at the end Always contour around the lips to give a little bit of natural fullness and also like to contour my nose as well. And then I also like to take that cream contour along the inner corners of the eyes and also through the crease. I really love to build up an eye look with creams and powders. I find that this gives it such a realistic look and brings more depth and definition. Next I'm going to highlight with my Armani Luminous Silk Concealer in the shade 5.75. This is about a couple shades lighter than my skin tone. and. This is also very light textured, so because I've already concealed what I need to, I'm really just using this to highlight and bring out the center of my face and bring in that extra definition. I also like using a highlighting shade to lift my face. So as you can see along the outside of my eyes, I've used that concealer to just angle up along the temples and this is gonna lift underneath the eyes and just give me a lift to the upper face as well. This is where the magic happens. I'm taking a light texture foundation. So this is my Dior Backstage Face and Body. And I'm taking that on that same brush that I used the contour on. And I'm using that to place where I haven't placed the contour and highlighter. So I'm first going to lay that foundation down in a very light layer in those areas. And then when I have very little product left on the brush, I'm gonna use that brush to blend out the edges of the contour and highlighting that we did and this is going to blend in everything so seamlessly and it's also going to soften all those harsh lines and edges and again i'm going in with a sponge just to press in all the creams and liquid products next i'm going in with my rare beauty soft pinch liquid blush in the shade hope this is the perfect blush shade to build up this look and I'm taking that on a dense brush just to press in the color and blend it out. And I'm going to be using a lot of this liquid blush because this is sort of supposed to be like um, a ballerina stage makeup. I mean, I'm still going to make it somewhat wearable, but I'm definitely saturating a lot of that product and taking it up into my temples even. So it's going to be a very blushy look.
Next, I'm taking my Ben Nye Banana Loose Powder and just setting underneath the eyes and the center of the face and any of the hot spots where I tend to get a little bit too shiny through the day. I'm not powdering the entire face because I definitely want to keep that glow still. And then I'm going to set the cream contour with my Hoola Powder Bronzer. So I'm just taking a fluffy bronzer brush and sweeping that over all the areas that we've done the cream bronzer. And this is going to set those areas and also further define the contour. And here with the bronzer, I'm starting to build up the eye look. So I'm just taking the bronzer on a fluffy blending brush and sweeping that along the crease with a very light hand. And I'm taking that underneath the lash line as well. I'm also going to use that bronzer to start to build up the foundation of the wing liner. And if you get messy, just clean it up with your sponge. Then I'm taking my Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. And I'm taking that into the inner corners of the eyes, underneath the brow bone, on top of the cupid's bow, and also on my mobile lid. So it's going to be a pretty highlighted and frosty look. And then next I'm going in with my NYX Multi Finish Palette. I think this one is discontinued, but you can use any of the colors that are similar that you have. So I'm just taking this bright pink and starting to blend that into the outer corners of the eyes. And then I take a deeper purple shade and then just start to define the outer lash line a bit and also the outer corner. And I'm slowly blending that into that pink shade and making it into more of like a mauve look. And here I'm taking a little bit more of that pink to blend into the purple, making sure that nothing gets too muddy and I still have that bright pinky look. And then I'm softening and blending out all the edges with a fluffy brush. I'm also deepening up the lower lash line with that purple shade. Then I'm taking my brow pen in the shade Brunette and I'm drawing in a wing liner. I really don't like using black and I like to keep things soft so I'm using this kind of dark brown shade to draw in my wing. And I also like to define underneath a little bit. And then what you see me take here are one of the glitter toppers in the palette. There's four of these shades. So this is in that very champagne-y shade. And I'm using this just to intensify that glow on the eyes. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that pinky nude shade and go over all the pink shades that we did there. And then I'm going to build up the lashes with my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I personally don't like using false lashes. You can if you want. I do think this is meant to be kept kind of soft, but uh, you can do whatever you like with your own lashes. But I'm going to show you guys how I build up my lashes with this mascara. This is definitely one of my favorites. I mean, I think it's definitely my new go-to. I love that it builds up the volume and length of the lashes so quickly without making it look clumpy but I definitely had a bit of a learning curve to it and I had to wait a couple of weeks for the formula to settle in and I find that I have to work a little bit fast with it because it does dry fast. And then here I'm going in with one of my new favorites, Essence Pure Nude Blush in the shade Pink Flush. I love how luminous it is and I don't have to go in with any highlighter here, but I love this pinky tone for this look. For lips, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner just to fill in the lips for that pinky color. I think if you're of a deeper skin tone than I am, this might really wash you out, but this still looks pretty okay on my lips and it gives me that perfectly natural pinky look. 
And then I always contour my lips with a deeper lip liner. This is in the shade Urban Cafe from NYX. I think this is discontinued, but you can use any deeper brown shade that you have. And anytime that you have a lighter lip color, this is a really good way to define your lips and that lip color. So you can keep using that color as your base, but your lips don't look washed out. And I'm using that same Rare Beauty blush as my main lip color, just to keep all the colors cohesive. Here I'm actually building up the blush with the Milani Rose Blush in Tea Rose, just to intensify the pink a little bit more. And that's the finished look. Let me know what you guys think. I think this is such a beautiful trend and you should definitely try it out. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and like this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.